Ethereum 2.0 is going to be a huge leap forward for blockchain technology. I'm personally counting down the days until it arrives because that's when blockchain is going to get ready for prime time. But I'm also super excited because Ethereum 2.0 is going to provide a new opportunity to earn passive income by participating in the network. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. I'm going to show you how to set up your own Ethereum 2.0 validator node so that you can get in on that action. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain, blockchain step by step from start to finish, uh, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. Let's get a quick overview of what we're going to cover in this video. So I'm going to show you how to set up an Ethereum 2.0 validator node and how to stake your Ethereum cryptocurrency so that you can get a passive income reward. So uh, really quickly, you know, Ethereum 2.0 is coming online very soon, and that's the new and improved version of Ethereum that's going to undergo a lot of changes. And with those changes come a lot of opportunities. And one of those opportunities is to earn that passive income reward by staking your Ethereum cryptocurrency to the network and running a validator know by participating in the blockchain. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do step by step right now. So when Ethereum 2.0 goes online, you know, it's not going to have mining anymore. Okay. The miners are going to get replaced by validators. Okay. So, you know, there's this big opportunity to mine Ethereum in the early days, especially. And now that opportunity is shifting to becoming a validator. So what validators do is they participate in running the blockchain. And so the blockchain is a peer to peer network of nodes that all talk to one another. Okay. So each of these nodes are a computer. All right. That's important to understand because we're going to set up a node today. Um, so that you can stake your ETH. Um, and so really what I'm fundamentally showing you how to do is set up a computer that participates in this Ethereum 2.0 network. And so if you want to, you know, become a validator on the Ethereum 2.0 network, you need two different things. You need to run a node. All right, like one of these. Okay. And then you also need 32 Ether. This is the native cryptocurrency of the Ethereum blockchain. So you need to run a node, which is what I'm going to show you how to do today. And then you need 32 Ether so that you can, uh, you know, stake it to the node for the, running the network. So stake ETH. All right. So I'm going to show you how to get 32 Ether today on a test network so that you can run this node and also stake the ETH and you can participate in setting up the test network. And then lastly, I'll say just a little bit about staking before we continue on. Staking is a part of Ethereum 2.0's consensus models. Like I said, you know, the miters are replaced by validators and the validators stake their Ethereum cryptocurrency uh, in order to, you know, confirm transactions on the network. So what do I mean by that? So basically anytime, you know, the blockchain's updated, validators validate these transactions and they basically risk money uh, in order to do that. So there's an economic incentive to act honestly. So basically if you confirm a transaction and it's valid, then you get a passive income reward for doing that. But similarly, if you... Uh, act dishonestly, then you're penalized and you'll lose money. Okay. So that's the whole idea behind staking is you take money, you assign it to your validator node, you validate new transactions that come into the blockchain. If they're good, you win money. If they're bad, then you lose money. All right. So now that's the whole idea. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first dependency that you need is the MetaMask Ethereum wallet. So this is just a uh, browser extension for Google Chrome. So head on over to the Google Chrome web store and you can install it pretty quickly with just the click of a button. So once you do, you'll need to set it up and like set a password and everything. Uh, but it'll automatically create an Ethereum account for you. So um, what you want to do is actually switch to the Gorelli test network. At least I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> so anyways, what we're going to do is run our Ethereum 2.0 validator node on this test network. Okay. Um, and that's, you know, it's, it's going to be a test network with fake Ethereum cryptocurrency. Like we won't have any real money. Uh, so this is how you just set everything up. So what we're going to do is actually uh, take this account and use it. Uh, but we also need some Ether in our wallet because you can see it's just totally empty here. And uh, don't forget, we need 32 Ether in order to stake on Ethereum 2.0. So I'm gonna try to get some right now. So we can do that with a faucet. This is basically just an app that uh, will give us Ethereum for free. All we have to do is request some. So we do this by creating a social media post uh, with our account address inside of it. And then um, it will give us some. All right, so I'm going to make a tweet. And let's see here. I'm going to uh, copy my MetaMask address like this. 
Just click copy and then replace it in here. All right, and then click tweet. And then I'm gonna click through to this tweet and copy the URL. Go back to the page and paste it in and say, give me ether. And don't forget, you need 32 to stake, so click the highest number. But if you do, you'll have to wait nine days before you can request any more. And there we go. My wallet's just been funded. So the next dependency that you need is Docker. So this allows you to run software inside of containers on your computer. Basically, what's going to allow us to do is just run a simple terminal command that's going to like pull the Ethereum 2.0 node onto our computer and start it up instantly. So you don't really need a deep understanding of Docker to know how this works. I mean, Docker can can get pretty complicated pretty fast. All you need to do is basically be able to install it and then run simple Docker commands, which I'll show you step by step in this video. So you can run the desktop installer for your operating system. Uh, just find that. I'm going to do the Mac one. Click download Docker. Um, and then once you do run the installer, you know, just follow these setup steps and you'll see a, uh, you know, a little whale icon in your system tray, and it'll show you that Docker's running. So basically, it's just a uh, process that runs on your computer that allows you to uh, pull Docker images and run them as Docker containers. And so now I'm going to show you how to use Docker to set up this node on your computer, okay? So what we're going to do is follow the uh, Pry Labs um, setup for this, okay? So they have a Docker uh, setup where you can basically run their Prism client uh, for the Ethereum 2.0 test network. So we're going to set up two different processes. Is one to run the validator. Uh, that's you know how we're going to be able to stake, and then one to run a node for the beacon chain. That's the test network for you know Ethereum 2.0. Okay, so um, we're going to run through these setup steps. We'll first pull the Docker image for. Um, uh, the validator. All right, we'll do that like this. Just paste in this command. You can find a link to this setup guide down in the description below. So I've already done this, so I'm going to skip that step. All right. Uh, but next, we'll pull the uh, image for the, uh, let's see here, the beacon chain. All right, like this. Boom, done. Again, I've already done that, so I'm going to skip it. And then um, next, what we want to do is actually run the beacon node. So you can uh, use this command. I'm going to kind of modify this slightly. And so I'll paste in what I have here. So you can run your beacon node like this. All right, I've created a special ETH2 directory uh, in my home directory to store all the data. This is gonna require some space on your system. So once you do that, go ahead and hit start. And so once you've got that started, you're gonna see this say processing deposits from Ethereum one chain. Okay, and you'll see this probably for a few minutes until it actually starts syncing the blockchain. So I've already started this process and it's been running for a few minutes at this point. And you'll see the progress here. So this is saying it's processing block, you know, 846 of like, uh, you know, what is that? 219,000 roughly, or yeah. So it, there's a lot of blocks that have to be processed and this is gonna take a while. So roughly this is gonna take like one to two days. So just a heads up, you know, you need to let this sit and run for a while. So, you know, if you do this on a server, that's great. But if you're going to do it on your own uh, personal computer, you need to have it plugged in and, you know, make sure that this can run in the background. So I'm going to let this do its thing and I'm going to come back whenever it's finished. All right. So I'm back and my node has just finished syncing. So again, uh, this will probably take some time for you, maybe like one to two days. But whenever it's finished, uh, you know, you'll see the uh, output that looks like this. And it should give you some indication that there's like, you know, a certain number of hours remaining and you can kind of watch that count down until you, you know, see this finished syncing uh, output. So now that we have this beacon node set up, the next thing that we want to do is actually uh, set up a validator client. But first we need to uh, generate a validator key pair. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do now. So first you want to go to this uh, Pry Labs webpage right here. I'll put a link down in the description below. And uh, we're going to walk through a few of these steps. So you can go ahead and skip step one. We basically already did this uh, because we set up this beacon chain client already. All right. And then uh, we're about to set up this validator client. So it's two processes, the beacon chain, right? That's what we just finished here. And then now we're going to walk through the steps of setting up the validator client. So uh, the first thing to do is click down to step two here and click, uh, you know, connect with MetaMask. Okay. You should see a MetaMask confirmation pop up and then just click next. All right. And connect. All right, boom. So what you want to do is make sure that you have, uh, you know, your uh, account that you requested some test ether with earlier. Okay, so you know, make sure you have at least thirty-two ether here. If you don't have any yet, you'll receive a prompt here. But the next thing we want to do is generate a validator public uh, private key pair. 
All right, so the next thing we want to do is generate that validator key pair. So I'm going to uh, open up a new terminal tab here. I'm going to keep my uh, node you know, process running here in one tab and then move to a new tab for this next step. So I'm going to do that like this. I'm going to run this Docker command. Again, you can find this in the guide down below, but you can literally just copy and paste this inside of here. But you'll want to update your password here, okay? And make this something secure that no one else you know, understands and don't save it anywhere. All right, so when you run that command, you'll see this output generated here. So what we want to do is now copy and paste this data. All right, this is just a data for the transaction uh, that's going to uh, basically do the deposit. So um, we'll go back to this page here and click, uh, you know, that copy and paste your validator deposit data and then paste that in here. All right, now next we need to uh, start the validator um uh, client. So we've already done the beacon chain. We need to start the validator client. It's already got our deposit data saved here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And so then next we're going to run the uh, validator client. All right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab this command from the description down below and we'll just run it like this. And so once it's running, you'll see uh, this message, you know, waiting for deposit to be observed by beacon node. And that's what we want to do next is basically finish the setup steps inside the web page and we'll be good to go. And now let's make the deposit from our wallet. So I'll click make deposit and we'll see a MetaMask confirmation pop up. So here's where we'll send our 32 ether and here we go. All right, now it's worked. So um, now all we have to do is sit back and wait for activation. So this process usually takes about four to five hours, but I'll show you how to watch for this and uh, confirm whenever you're finished. Just click through this link right here. Um, Let's see the Etherscan link. All right. And you can see the, you know, your transaction and you can see your beacon chain deposit. Click your public key. And there you go. You'll see that the status is deposited and then it'll move to pending and then active. All right. And whenever you're active, you'll be live and ready to go. And whenever that's finished, you'll have successfully set up your Ethereum 2.0 node on the uh, beacon chain. So that's how you set up your validator node for the Ethereum 2.0 test network. So this is a really exciting opportunity because again, we're shifting away from mining, going towards staking and validators on Ethereum 2.0. And this is a brand new opportunity to earn passive income. So I'm super excited about this. You know, I made some videos in the past about how I've, you know, accumulated 32 Ether so that I can personally be a validator on Ethereum 2.0 wherever it comes out. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm doing this myself and I wanted to share with you in this video you know how you can do the same thing so if you like this video then make sure you smash the like button down below and subscribe to this channel that really helps these videos get found so that more people can learn about this exciting technology and so if you want to learn more about blockchain development like how can you get started today well you can go to my youtube homepage and find any of my free courses listed there they're basically like you know udemy courses but they're totally free for you here on youtube and a lot of them have you know written guides of my website over at dappuniversity.com and so if you like those courses and you want to take the next step or hey maybe you want to take a massive shortcut entirely and really like become a blockchain master today then i can show you to do that step by step from start to finish uh just head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash boot camp to get started right now all right so that's all i got and until next time thanks for watching daff university